Hello everyone, meet again. Today I'm going to talk about reasons uh, QR code uh, not working. Yeah, I have go, went through this uh, problem with uh, my colleagues and uh, many of the phones uh, couldn't uh, scan the code or after scanning the code they ask for permission, need permission yeah? and all sorts of problems. Uh, that I faced, so I, but I've overcome it, and I decided, uh, well, to share with you all what are the reasons uh, QR code uh, not working. Hi. So uh, for the first reason is the quality of the QR code itself. Uh, so the tip is to download in a high resolution, uh, preferably in SVG or PNG formats uh, for better quality QR codes. But of course, I have another uh, valuable tips uh, at the end. So please yeah, view until the end yeah, to know what is the uh, important tips that I'm going to give. Next, uh, we have the second reason that is strictly no inverting colors. Okay, try not to choose a style or design over the efficiency and productivity. Yeah, it might look good, but but it won't work. And uh, preferably a classic QR code, yeah, which has a white background and a black foreground. So this is the second tip yeah, of this slide. Always make sure to use a lighter color for background and a darker color for the foreground. We have come to the third reason, yeah, that is the contrast of the QR code. Uh, that means to stick to a contrasting foreground and a lighter background. Okay, and uh, so to, uh, the third tip yeah, is to keep the foreground 40% darker than the background even while using the contrasting uh, colors. So next, uh, fourth reason is because of the QR code size. Uh, the minimum is 2 times 2 inches. And so today the fourth tip is uh, to dodge the location of the QR code and then decide the size of the QR code. Uh, that is very important. For the fifth reason uh, is because uh, due to the overcrowding of uh, QR code. What do you mean by that? That means it's, uh, there are more pieces and more content. Yeah? More, that means uh, it will need more time to scan. And if content is a must, then you have to use a dynamic QR code yeah? or you upload the content on a mobile uh, optimized URL and link the static uh, QR code to it. So the fifth reason uh, or the fifth tip here is to use a dynamic uh, QR code instead of a static code yeah? if more content uh, are needed yeah? such as uh, PDF. Now we have come to the sixth reason that is the placement of the QR code. So we prefer that uh, the code be put at the eye level and uh, for the QR code, yeah, is it large enough for noticeable and able to scan without any errors? So the sixth tip for this slide is if a smaller area place front and center. Okay, and if a bigger area, you have to make sure it's at a eye level. Finally, we come to the seven reason. That is the last uh, reason. That is the QR code itself is already expired or is already uh, having a broken link. So what you can do here is to update the web page regularly using and use dynamic QR code. That's all. Thank you. Okay, thank you for staying until the end. So this is the valuable tip that you are waiting for that I promised to you earlier. So actually, I'm using an app, yeah, an app of uh, to take a picture, sort of like picture and copy, yeah, to a uh, on paste, yeah, copy and paste to a uh, paper, yeah, for scanning. So you don't have to download. So if you are interested in the app, you can refer to the description as below regarding the download of the app. 
and the icon is just next uh, to this slide. Thank you.